Hey soul family, what's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader. Oh, that was a good one. That came from my belly. Um, this is going to be your reading, Aquarius. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you, Aquarius. Like I said, my name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader and I'm doing the darn thing for you right now for the next two weeks so we're going from July 15th 15th to the 31st okay Aquarius this is going to be a general reading anything can really come out in this reading I try to talk about as many things as I see okay for you not just you know one particular topic you know if you've been here long enough um, so please take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. This is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus. And we're going in with the cross watcher too, because cross watchers, they love to know what's going on with the people they are most interested in stalking, right? So, um, yeah, so please take what resonates for you, leave what doesn't. And if nothing resonates at all, check your moon, rising and Venus. And if those don't resonate, check the older readings. Okay. Check some of the other readings and see if any of those vibe for you. Okay. Um, definitely please do not try to make it fit, but you know what your situations are. So I might say you and you over and over again, but you know that this is, this is the energy of your dad, your cousin, your uncle, your friend, your lover, whoever. Okay. It's whatever you need to hear right now. All right, guys. And that's what we're going to do. Last but not least, please, guys, show your girl some love. All right. If any of this resonates for you in the video, please smash the love button. Give me a hug. Give me an air hug. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it in. Thank you. Uh, go ahead and show me some love. Go ahead and subscribe. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for being here. And if you're not, thank you for being here again, family. I love you. Let's go. Okay. Okay. It's weird. Like I've tried to do this with like, I've tried to just be like, all right, let's do the reading, but I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. I feel like I need to explain. Okay. I just saw the three of swords at the bottom of the deck. That makes me feel uncomfortable. Okay. All right. What do we have going on here for Aquarius, please? July 15th to the 31st. Let's talk about it, please. Can we talk about it, spirit? Okay, we have the Hierophant. Okay, Six of Pentacles. Talk to me about Aquarius. Ace of Wands. Cards of Wanna Talk, trust me. Two of Pentacles. What else do we have for Aquarius? High Priestess, the Hermit. Oh, Lordy Lordy. This one's gonna be a fun one. Underneath the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. Overall energy, please. Overall energy. Overall energy is the Fool, a leap of faith. Let's talk about any challenges or hidden obstacles here. Hidden factors or challenges. Hidden factors or challenges. Ooh, well, that's interesting. This is going to be bizarre, but I feel like the challenge is somebody running away from commitment. Mm. Is your person running away from commitment right now, Aquarius? I'm so, this is so weird. Oh my God. Okay. So overall energy is the fool, which is great. Aries energy. This is about taking a leap of faith. Okay. It's about going into the unknown. Um, the place of anything being possible can also be about being naive, being tricked, things like that. Okay. But I feel like this is like a new start, some sort of new leap of faith, uh, some sort of new jump into something um, that you guys may or may not be ready for. Okay. Underneath the deck, what I call like kind of like a subconscious underlying energy is the two of wands. Um, for some of you, I think you've already made a decision, but you're waiting on something. I got timing so strongly when I was shuffling the cards and I have Oracle cards guys that I'm going to read once I'm done, um, 
working with the tarot here and they are both about time so if that's a huge thing for you let's talk about it after this okay but i'm feeling like there has something to do with time and waiting okay now that you've decided something you're waiting on something else all right so we have the hierophant the six of pentacles ace of wands and we have the two of pentacles there's juggling or something going on here like maybe your person is doing that with you but Aquarius I feel like you know with the Hierophant this is Taurus energy so this is about rules being grounded in who you are um, what makes you tick at your core it's about having a set schedule and doing things according to plan um, it's about your belief system okay um, maybe even for some of you being you know sticking to the plan being very rigid okay so I feel like you guys are learning discipline uh, or balance when it comes to giving and receiving all right because I feel like for many of you you could have been on either end you were more of the receiver you were more of the giver maybe you've had both experiences where you were you know more of the giver or the receiver okay something has not been in balance here so I feel like what's happening is that you guys have been struggling for that and I feel like you're sort of being in this routine now with the hair font which that can also represent the routine of your life and who you are going to work every day saving your money doing the practical stuff you know not just having all this fun okay here I'm showing that you guys might have some inspirational vibration coming through here okay maybe you've got some really good ideas just sort of burning away at your brain then the, like I feel like maybe the last month and the next couple of weeks you guys might be feeling new inspired or new inspired energy so this actually represents a brand new beginning you know it's a brand new uh, fire and energy that you're you're feeling or trying to start out here with okay and we'll clarify as we clarify it could be slightly different it could we could stick with that um but sometimes i get a lot of different scenarios and i talk about them just fyi if you're new here we have two of pentacles going back and forth right a person that's juggling but i think this is more of playing with an idea of something for some of you okay do you see how she's just it seems almost like she's having a little more fun. I feel like some of you could be working with your finances and whatever's going on with you right now. You just could have a lot on your plate too. I also feel this interesting duality of like your spiritual life and like your material world too and finding balance in both of those. So I get really strongly like spiritual awakening. Some like I hear that spiritual awakening. So maybe somebody here is really going through a spiritual awakening, like a deep one. I'm not talking like, oh, I know some shit. Now I'm woke. I'm talking about like letting go of some damn garbage, right? You know, like really dark night of the soul stuff. And now you're kind of coming into this place where it's like, trying to integrate your lessons into your daily life and like make that work and some of you know exactly what i mean by that okay it's like how do i be this other how do i be this being in this right in this environment we have the high priestess directly under the hair font you may not be openly or outwardly showing this okay uh, because the high priestess deals with a lot of hidden energies but it's a lot of hidden spiritual energy and the hierophant is also a spiritual card like i said you know it, it represents uh or it could represent like our patterns our day-to-day -day stuff somebody here could be noticing a lot of patterns that you repeat and it could have to do with this equal give and take energy okay so you guys are feeling really inspired now to maybe make some of these changes all right but there's mystery here and it could be mystery about your core your spiritual journey what makes you tick we have the hermit here so somebody could be uh kind of in their cave or hiding you could be spending a lot of downtime by yourself these next couple of weeks why you have some stuff you're examining i think you're i think you're hurt you might be trying to get over some stuff okay i feel like i just am hearing like i'm waiting for the right time to like 
come out, you know, come literally, I feel like some of you are actually coming out, but it feels more like come out of my shell. Cause I think some of you are doing some work and you're really kind of evolving in your life for others. I think this has to do with some relationship somehow. Ace of pentacles. Boom. It's like, I feel like some of you could be getting a new job offer. Maybe you're getting a raise or something like that this month, but this is like a new stable beginning too. You know, because here it's like Ace of Wands, boom, gift from the universe. Ace of Pentacles, boom, gift from the universe. But they're both different. This is taking all the energy and the ideas, the spiritual path, the journey and creating the reality with it. Right. It's now integrating whatever you've learned into, you know, your daily life. OK. Like I said, overall energy taking a leap of faith. We have the decision that's already made and looking forward towards something. Now the challenge, right? And I'm going to clarify this stuff, guys. Like I said, running away from happiness and commitment, okay? Some of you might actually have commitment issues or you're dealing with somebody who has commitment issues. But the Knight of Swords is a very like crazy energy it's sort of like destructive if you will you know this is a person who goes back and forth runs in and out of people's lives this is about being hot and cold okay so you could be doing this with you you know you're being hot and cold about what you want in your life particularly for some of you about commitment okay why we have the hair font here please for aquarius Oh boy, the two cards came out. I'm not going to go on and take three. Oh boy, we had the lovers in reverse. Okay. So yeah, uh, like I said before, the everyday, the mundane, spiritual learning, this and that. We now have three aces out. We have two pentacles, ace of pentacles and an ace of wands. Okay. Universe is looking out for you guys. Okay. This is really good energy with the wheel of fortune. Things are changing for you. All right. And I think it's not just an outside change that's happening. You have good luck coming in here with money. Okay. And things in the material world. Some of you have investments coming through. Like I said, jobs, things like that. Things are changing very rapidly. Destiny is at play here. Okay. So it, it the wheel turns us into a good energy into a whole other way. So I'm seeing good, positive things happen here. Relationship offers, money offers. Okay. Okay, deep spiritual changes too. You guys are learning a lot. Why is the Six of Pentacles here, please, for Aquarius? King of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, I don't like that the King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, this makes me feel like there was an imbalance in some sort of domestic you know, uh, with the home, the, the material world, the domestic stuff, somebody is being dishonest here, or somebody is, uh, maybe manipulating with their words. And I don't like that. Okay. I don't really care for that energy, but somebody is like not giving, right. They're not giving. Somebody is not being honest in this connection. If there's a connection here, why is the Ace of Wands here? E e Page of Rods. Oof. Bad news about something. Okay, so for some of you, you're having these great ideas. Things are going well. For others of you, I feel like there's some sort of bad news you're getting here. That's a Ten of Swords, okay? Um, it's going to really hurt you. You might be finding out maybe somebody hurt you or betrayed you. Somebody could have lied to you about wanting to be in a higher level of commitment, quite possibly. Um, this person may have just been looking for like uh, to be taken care of, have their finances their shit together, okay? Because maybe they didn't. Somebody was is not equally or was not equally giving in this connection, okay? So um, some bad news coming in here. Let me see. Why is this Ten of Swords? I feel like there's like a stunt, like something is not happening here, okay? It's like it started out, but then it stopped suddenly, all right? Um, nine of Cups. So I feel like this is like like not getting the wish fulfillment, like things not going the way you, according to planned, okay? Things are not going according to plan. There's some sort of event or like 
you're finding out something, okay? Something's stopping this new adventure that you're on. Why is the Two of Pentacles here, please? I'm going to have to decide. That's what I just heard. I'm going to have to decide. Seven of Pentacles. Why else is the Two of Pentacles here, please? King of Cups. Mm, okay. King of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. There may be... I just, it's how I, how I get messages sometimes are really weird. There's love missing. That's all I can really look. Three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So heartbreak here. It's something that you work very hard at or somebody worked very hard with you on. Okay. There's love missing. Somebody might've been dishonest or emotionally manipulative here, but I feel more like this is like, it didn't, it started out great or something. It seemed like it was going to be everything. However, it went wrong somewhere. Does that make sense? Hopefully for somebody, it looks like a, an investment, right? You were deciding, am I going to invest in this? Maybe you're not the one who's emotionally 100% into it, but there's a heartbreak here, okay? Somebody's hurting over maybe not getting back what they've been giving, that's kind of how I feel like somebody's somebody's empty here. It's the King of Cups in reverse. Okay. All right. Why do we have the High Priestess? Why is the High Priestess here? It's the mystery. The Emperor, Aries, Page of Cups. Okay. I feel like this is what you don't know. What you don't know is that somebody's trying to get it together here. This could be what your person doesn't know either. Maybe you, what you could be hiding is that you're, you're working on yourself. You're healing yourself. You want to fix whatever this is. You may have been the one who had to tell somebody, listen, I don't feel the same about you. You know, this is how I feel right now. And, you know, you're looking at just doing you and working and, you know, doing your thing and you may have really hurt somebody. Okay. Uh, you, you might have decided I need to tell this person exactly how I feel, even though I don't want to, um, my heart's not fully invested or this is what happened with you. We have the page of cups. So we do have like a small love message, maybe even an apology or forgiveness that's needed here. Okay. And I kind of almost feel like this is an energy that somebody doesn't know is there. There's a mystery about it, you know. And with the emperor, you know, this is really a boss man. You could be having issues with a boss at work. But I, I feel more like this is a person taking control, okay. that it, It's like you don't see it. You don't see them deciding, getting their life together, making a big decision here and coming forward uh, to you or you to them. Okay, why do we have the Hermit? Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so Knight of Swords, like, you know, destructive back and forth energy. We have that here, okay? That's an obstacle or a challenge. And I feel like a Knight of Swords can be quick to say things that they don't really mean, okay? Um, and I almost feel like this is two people, the Knight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with somebody who might be more mature than you, or you could be the more mature person in this particular connection, dealing with somebody who is coming in and out of your life, okay? Um, I would say this person very well might not be a very honest individual, okay? With the Hermit, I feel like this is Virgo energy. It's you going within to figure out, I think, what you want to do with this energy you're having to deal with, okay? I feel like somebody's coming back, you guys. I'm serious. Why is the Nine of Wands here? You might be blocking communication from this person. The Hermit in reverse, okay? Okay. This is coming out of, that's so weird. It's like going in, coming out. Maybe there's, maybe this is representing both of you. Like one of you doesn't want to talk and the other one's like trying to rush, race into this and like figure it out and like get it back. And the other person's just like, no, I made up my mind already. I don't want to talk about this. I'm hurt. Uh, I just want to heal. I got my walls up. We're not doing this. Okay. Um, 
there's a block, you know, there's a block in things moving forward here. Eight of Wands in reverse. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Just thought I'm going to focus on myself really loud. I'm going to focus on myself. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? That's the world and the lovers. Dude, I'm telling you right now, guys, Page of Swords, somebody's been watching you. Okay, Page of Swords, the world, the lovers, and the fucking Ace of Pentacles. Brand new love coming through. And like a solid one, okay? Solid one. So maybe your person was like not all the way in, you know, maybe after time, it's like they started not feeling the same about you, or maybe you started feeling not the same about them. You have somebody coming in here, okay? Could be Gemini and could be dealing with any sign really, but I think you might have been checking this person out or spying on this person or they're doing that to you, okay? They're trying to figure you out and learn about you, but you got a brand new offer come coming in which is like the underlying energy was making a decision and waiting on something okay waiting on the right time looking for something else and you had the fool the leap of faith right the leap of faith to start again to jump into something else okay <laughs> now the challenge could be not to run back to this person Okay, if your mind is made up, it's about moving forward. I think some of you know that there's somebody new coming in. I think some of you know, okay. Um, and like I said before, this this five of the, sorry, knight of swords can be a person who is very in and out, okay. So some of you are very in and out of like, is this really the person I want to be with? Do I want to be married? What what does relationship look like? I feel like you guys kind of ask that a lot. Like you might wonder a lot. Like what what do I really want? You know what do I really want? Do I want long term or do I not want long term? Right. So let's see why we have Knight of Swords and the Four of Wands. Can I just have one card, please. Thank you. Yeah, there's a lot of stress about that. Death at the bottom. This is something I think some of you are trying to change. You have a lot of anxiety that about, I feel like, about relationships. And that's your challenge is like the going back and forth. It's like trying to settle the anxiety and maybe where this even comes from for some of you regarding relationships. It could be too that you're just having a lot of anxiety over this particular connection that you had with this person it's just like i feel like there were some lies that got in the way here a little dishonesty there wasn't an, an even given and giving and taking here you know you or your person were kind of back and forth in and out not really knowing what you want and then we have that king of cups in reverse so it's like you know somebody not really being who they are right they're really not being who they are. They're being somebody else and they don't have the same kind of feelings. Okay. So let's talk about these two cards because they have to do with time. We have time to go and TikTok. So I feel like for a while, you guys may have been contemplating deep underneath. You're still in this deciding mode, you know, and you're waiting you know, you're waiting for the right time to decide something. And I feel like that's what the TikTok and the time to go have here. And look at, I mean, she's literally like, okay, it is time to go on to the next thing, which is what? The fool. It's time to take a new leap of faith. Okay. So time and perfect timing and like how to do things, I feel like is very much on your mind, not just in your love life, but I think in your life in general, there's a lot of stuff around it. Okay. Let's look at the adjacent possibilities, which I think is such a perfect card for this reading. It's the number 24. And it's a six. It adds up to a six. And that's about harmony. And that's about giving and taking and stuff like that, too. But, um, oh, that's the wrong, wrong one. That one said hostilities. You might be in a, you might have some hostilities right now. All right, many unconsidered options. All right, many unconsidered options. Sometimes the force of habit keeps you stuck and unaware of potentially healthier and happier choices at hand. What do we talk about? The Hierophant is all about the doing every day, that daily, that habit, that thing that you do consistently, right? Yet every moment gives you an option to 
uh, to open a different door and take a different course, whether it's in your thoughts, behaviors, or major life decisions. Unlike the indecision card, which indicates confusion and vacillation about what course to take, the adjacent possibilities card is here to tell you that you have many options and it's time to take a wider look at things as you consider the many life choices available you'll feel more and more empowered and motivated to make the decisions that bring happiness strength and forward motion in terms of your goals this card could indicate unknown and previously unconsidered ideas Perhaps there's a marketing tool you have thought of. Remember I said with that Ace of Wands, you could feel, feel a lot of passion, have great ideas, right? Perhaps there's a marketing tool you haven't thought of, a connection you haven't tapped, or uh, even an entirely different direction that would be more suited to you. Be conscious, be aware, and be flexible and willing to take new and different action now. I think that's where you guys are at. And I don't think it's just in your life. I think it's carrying over into everything that you're doing, including whatever you might be involved in in a romantic way, okay? Now we have keep an open mind, and this could be the one. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your uh, usual type and expectations, all right? So if some of you are out here looking for your soulmate, uh, definitely keep an open mind because, um, you know, universe has a way of putting people in our path that, you know, feel like maybe they're not our person or they're typically not who we're attracted to. But then we find out down the road, we're like, oh my gosh, you know, yeah, that really is my person, right? Okay, we have this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Now, I want to say this, I feel like it's not this person, okay, the whoever you might have just been dealing with, I feel like it's the person coming into your life. And here's what I think. I think this is somebody you could have been with in a past life. For some of you, I feel like this is a person from the past. And I don't know why the past is coming up for me, but it is very strongly, okay? Um, I don't know. I just feel like with how many times I got the six in this reading, six makes me think of the... the um, six of cups you know the past life connection so you could have a past life connection someone with someone and i feel like this is the person that you might uh be meeting that's you know um gonna make you an offer that you might be getting into a relationship with next okay i think that that could be the person because it seems to me like there's a new stable thing that's coming in here okay brand new cycle right? Ace of Pentacles. Remember, Page of Swords, the lovers could be Gemini. All right. So this was a really great reading for you guys. Thank you so, so much for being here and staying through with me. If any of this resonated for you, if you got any little nuggets from it, please go ahead, smash my love button, show your girl some love. Give me the air hug. I'll bring it in. Ow. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, and I hope to see you soon. Uh, comment down below. I love when you guys talk to me when we create a dialogue. I try to get to every one of the comments, like I said before. Okay. I love you guys. See you later, Aquarius. Bye.